Hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel for that. I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Libra love prediction reading for December 13th through December 19th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space energy. Keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading, please give me a subscription or a like. I will be most humbled, most honored, and I'm always very grateful if you decide to do that. Please know the first five cards of my reading that I, when I lay them down, gives you a general overview. The second part of the reading is where you get this true story that the spirit guides want you to know. So if this is your reading, please take a moment, sit back, relax, and listen to the entire reading. Let's see what's going on with my lovable, sweet, kind, partnered, Libras, show me what's going on with my Libras, my loving Libras. Show me, spirit guys. Spirit guys, show me what's going on with my lovely Libras. Let's see, Libras, what you got going on? What you got going on, Libra? Let's see. Three of Cups. Star. Queen of Wands. Six of coins and five of wands. So Libra, you lead it off your reading with the three of cups, which is a card of celebration, having fun, just doing the doggone thing. Someone that you know. You're you're looking for someone or you have someone in your love space that you when you guys get together is nothing but fun. Nothing but fun. You have an awesome time with this person. You have an awesome, awesome time with this person. You and this person know how to party, know how to get together. There is never a dull moment when you guys are together. Here you have the star next there. Could be an Aquarius person though, Libra. Because the star card does represent Aquarius, but it could be anyone. But the star card next to this um, fun card means that you want more. Yeah, I do believe that you want more. You, um, <clears throat> like I said, this is the person that you just normally see. You guys kick it. You get together from time to time, have a good time. But the star card means that you're looking at the universe and asking the universe hoping that the universe brings this person to you on a full-time basis you're not looking for a in on and off again partner you're not looking for just a partying and partner you're looking for someone that is with you that is partnered with you that you can grow with now this person though is a queen of wands no uh, queen of wands oh queen of wands is a fire sign aries leo sagittarius person possibly but the queen of wands can sometimes be all about themselves now, they're a beautiful person only. They're very gorgeous. A lot of people like them. They have no problem getting someone. And that's what's kind of got you all in a state of craziness because they have no problems getting someone. Um, and you don't have a problem that way either. So it's kind of like you guys are going back and forth, but you really want this person. But I feel like... Um, something's holding you back from getting them and i don't know what that is now here you have the six of coins here which six of coins means all about pulling back about uh, adjusting yourself about not perhaps you whenever you're with them you spin 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 you give 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 but right now you're saying in order to get this person because you're not getting what you want you're pulling back you're trying to get a balance here. You've been very generous and kind, but you're, you're, you you want something more and you're asking them for something more. But remember, they're queen of wands, so they're only going to do what they want to do. They're only going to do what they want to do. You can't force them to do anything. Now, here's what's going on. Look at this five of wands here. Uh, because you pull back, because you haven't been handling it how you normally handle it, because possibly, um, even if it's a man, you might have been taking care of a woman. If it's a woman, you could have been taking care of a man. It does not matter. Either way it goes, you're pulling back. And it's causing conflict. It's causing, causing fights. It's causing you to have conflict within this relationship. Even though you want it, it's causing you to have conflict. Let's see. If this is your read, sit back, relax. I'm going to clarify the reading to see what the spirit guides want you to really know. Why? So, um, if, is this Three of Cups here, Spirit Guides? Show me why the Three of Cups is here for Libras. Show me why the Three of Cups is here for Libras. 
Show me spirit, guys. Watch this three of cups here for Libras. Oop. I'm going to use that because it says it's the nine of pentacles. Because you have a good time with this person. You enjoy this person. I told you, you want something more. But in order for you to get something more, you can't get, keep giving everything and not getting anything in return. Nine of pentacles means that um, you this person right now, and nine of pentacles is all about your independence um, your freedom, um, your doing your own thing. And I think that this person is all about that too, but you want something more. Nine of Pentacles to me, um, has always been my single card, but it's just about, uh, when this three of cups here, this person is just single, they're doing their thing, but you want something more Libra. So how are you going to manifest that? Let's see. Why is this star card here? You're asking the universe for it. You're asking the universe. So let's see spirit guys. Show me why the star card is here for my Libra. Show me spirit guys. Why is the star card here for Libras? Oh. Somebody said you're going to win Libra. You're going to win. That six of wands is all about winning. Six of wands is all about winning. And I don't know how you're going to win. I'm going to keep reading. But this person's single. But you have a good time when you guys are together. But you want more. You want a partner. You want more. You've asked the universe for it. And it's saying the star card is there. And it's saying with that six of wands that you're going to win. You're going to win no matter what. You're going to win. So let's see what the Queen of Wands. Why is this Queen of Wands here? Show me this Queen of Wands. Show me the Queen of Wands. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Uh-oh. Look at that moon. That moon is all about illusion sometimes. It's also about you just don't know which way to go. There's confusion. Even though you're winning, you don't know how you're winning. You know why you're winning. And you feel like you're winning, but is that necessarily so with that Queen of Wands? Are you really winning? It could be a Pisces person as well. But are you really winning with them? Are they getting it that you want to be with them? So let's see why the Six of um, Coins is here, the Six of Pentacles. Show me why the Six of Pentacles is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Because you want to offer your love. You have that Princess of Cups. You want to offer your love to them. And that's what you're doing, but you're pulling back too. Let's see what the Five of Wands. Why are you guys fighting? Why are you guys fighting? Huh? Because you pulled back. What did I tell you? You're fighting because you pulled back. Because your generosity is no longer there. Six, um, the uh, Queen of Wands is a, a, a card of... That Queen of Wands energy thinks that they deserve it and they're, they're going to do whatever it takes to get it. They feel like they deserve it, but you feel like the only way you deserve it is that you got to give back too, and they're not giving back to you, and that's why you pulled your energy. So let's see here. The Three of Cups, you're kicking it and doing it with this person. You're having a good time with them. Um, Nine of Pentacles, but they're free. They're still free. They have their own thoughts, their own, own ideas, their own money, but you want more because you have the Star card here. The Star card could be an Aquarius person, but it's all about hope for you. You're asking the universe to bring this person to you. You're asking the universe because you no longer want to be in this single mode, and when you're in the single mode, you date whoever you want to date. You do whatever you want to do. You want a, a partner. Six of Wands means you have victory. When you ask the universe, you have victory. Queen of Wands, like I said, that's an energy. Everybody knows the Queen of Wands. Beautiful person, beautiful girl, inside and out, possibly. Beautiful energy. Queen of Wands um, energy is also energy is sometimes can be selfish. I'm just saying sometimes just does their own thing. You can't really um, depend on them all the time because they're all about them sometimes. Please don't get upset with me, but that's just what that Queen of Wands could be. An Aries, Leo, a Sagittarius um, person. And then here's the moon card here. You're winning, but what are you winning? What are you winning? Because the moon is all about illusions. It's all about crazy. And I even think with this, this Queen of Wands is driving you bat-ish crazy. Because you can't figure out one, one minute they're one way, the next minute they're, they're always demanding of you. And you're trying to figure out and you're trying to get it together. But here, you have the Six of Coins. You have given everything to this person. Everything. You have been there. You, you pay for everything. You take care of them whenever you guys are out and doing your thing. But you're pulling back now because you want to offer your love to them, but not on the basis of just about your money. It's not all about money for you. And then you have the five of wands. You're in conflict now with them. You guys are fighting. And that four of cups means because you pull back your energy. They don't like that. They feel like they deserve all. They deserve all. You don't get a chance to do that. But you're showing them otherwise, aren't you, Libra? So let's see what my angel, what my um, queen angel goddesses have to say. 
Show me what my queen angel gods have to say to, to, about this. Let's see. It said creativity. That's seven sisters. And it says creativity. And I think just what they're saying is in order for you to get to this person, in order for you to be with this person, you have to be creative. In other words, you've got to pull back, do what you need to do for yourself, and see what happens. You've asked the universe, and you've got to pull back. It's just you can't just do one thing. You've got to pull back, enjoy your life, and figure out what to do next. So that's what I have for you, even though you love this person. That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading, Libra.